Hi, I'm Wendy Farakla, Director of Training at Villa La Paz Dog Training Academy. And this month, January, is National Train Your Dog Month. And this month's tip, training tip, we're going to talk about New Year's resolutions that people make of training their dogs. Maybe they have a bad behavior in their dog, or they just want to basically train their dog, get better attention, focus when they go out, or they have a goal of possibly taking their dogs out to farmer's markets, um, out to all the outdoor activities that we take our dogs to. So I have five of the most basic and important steps of how to gain your dog's focus and to five steps to start training your dog. First thing you need to do is you need to create a reward system for your dog. Um, everybody thinks of treats as a reward system and you actually can use treats as a reward system but most people use treats incorrectly and they use treats as a bribe versus a reward. And the next thing that we do is we don't we don't often recognize our dogs when they do something correct. We only recognize the dogs when they have their head in the trash or they're digging out in the backyard or they're chewing on or stealing something they're not supposed to. So we need to recognize our dogs by praising them and it can be with food, we can use verbal praise, we can use toys. Um, you can simply go over and just say, yay, you're being good, you're chewing on one of your own toys versus a pair of my shoes. So we need to, to create a reward system and praise our dogs when they do stuff correct. The second important step is to gain your dog's attention. I'm often asked when I have my dogs in class or even when I have my dogs out in public, I'm often asked, gosh, how, why do your dogs always pay such good attention to you? And I've actually had people say to me about Booster, they actually say that he looks at me in such a way that he almost looks like he wants to marry me because he's always looking at me and with that longing look waiting for something to happen. And that creating a, uh, your dog's attention just doesn't happen. You have to actually train them. Dogs are naturally outwardly focused on the environment. We actually need to reward them for paying attention to us. And again, you're going to use that reward system that we've already, let's say we've already created our reward system, and we're going to use that reward system in the first thing is to get, when they look at us, we need to recognize them when they look at us and when they're paying attention to us. And I use food for that in the beginning. And my dogs like to play, they like toys, um, and they like to tug. And tugging is one of those one of those things that people say, oh, I, I, I really shouldn't tug with my dog and let my dog win the toy. But if you, if you train a tug properly, you can use that as, as part of a reward. And it's very simple when the dog's paying attention to you that you can, you can um, show them the tug and get them to tug a little bit. They give it back to you and then you continue on. So creating attention is the next step. The third step is making yourself more important than the environment. And again, your reward system is going to create that, that desire for your dog to, to think that you're important, more important than the sniffing the bush, or more important than going to run down the street and visit the other dogs. Um, or just simply run away from you. So you want to make yourself more important than the environment using your rewards. Food, tug, toys, praise, touch, all of that. The fourth step to gain a better trained dog is to set a regular playtime with you and your dog. So I, have, I set play time for each of my dogs. Sometimes we play all together um, and they all go and, and chase their own balls, um, but I make a point to set that play time with me and my dog. Setting a regular play time with your dog will also 
gain better attention on you, create you as the most important thing besides the environment. So make sure when you're training your dog that it's just you and your dog, no other distractions, and you're setting play time so you can create that bond. The fifth and final tip or the final step to a better trained dog is creating, creating an activity other than the dog park. A lot of people take their dogs to the dog park, but what the dog park promotes is the dog leaving you and going out and seeking other avenues, going out and playing with other dogs, which isn't necessarily a bad idea, but it doesn't create that bond between you and your dog. And if the only activity that they have is going to the dog park, it's hard to gain the attention, gain the focus, gain that that attention that you want out in public. So there are lots of other activities that you can do, such as training classes. At Villa La Paz, we have lots of different training classes that can help create that bond between you and your dog. We have rally classes, we have our basic obedience classes, we have tricks class, we have Hollywood Dogs class, is a great class to take. Uh, that's, that's a real fun class to take. We have nose work, we have agility classes. There's a really cool class that's called Total Dog, which is an advanced obedience class. And it's not the typical sit, down, stay, come class. It's kind of a crazy class where we work on distractions and we do all sorts of crazy stuff with our dogs um, to gain that focus, that attention. So if you ever want to check, out, check us out and give us a call, we can go over all the classes that we have and possibly set up a training regimen for you and your dog. And here's to January being National Train Your Dog Month. And I hope everybody has a great 2012. And this is going to be the year that you have a better trained dog.